I am surprised that you agreed to do it. Why are you sitting down with us today? I'm very tired of all of the uh, lies. I've been hearing things and, you know, and seeing things on the blogs and, you know, I'm just, I'm just tired. What are the lies that you're hearing that disturb you most? Oh my God. Um, all of them. Um, got little girls trapped in the basement, helicopters over my house, mm -hmm. um, trying to um, rescue someone that doesn't need rescuing because they're not in my house, handcuffing people, starving people. I have a harem, uh, what you call it, a, um, a coat. Mm -hmm. I don't even really know what a coat is, but I, I know I don't have one, you know. Mm -hmm. Have you done anything that you regret? Have you done anything wrong? Lots of things wrong when it comes to women that I apologize, but I apologize in those relationships at the time I was in the relationships. Have okay? you broken any laws when it comes to women? Absolutely not. The six-part series interviewed 50 people, mm -hmm. family members, your former tour manager, numerous women who all claim that you abused them. Yeah. Are you saying everybody in that documentary was not telling the truth about you? Everybody? If, if, if you really look at that documentary, which I'm sure you have, I have. everybody said something bad about me. Nobody said nothing good. Mm -hmm. They was describing Lucifer. I'm not Lucifer. I'm a man. I make mistakes, but I'm not a devil, and by no means am I a monster. I'm going to name the names. Andrea Kelly, your ex-wife, Kitty Jones, mm -hmm. Lisa Van Allen, Lizette Martinez, Jerron DePace, mm -hmm. Faith Rogers, yeah. Asante McGee. You're saying everything they said in that documentary about you is not true. They are lying on me. Why would these women say the same thing about you, that you are controlling, that you are abusive, that you tell women when to eat, when to go to the bathroom, when they can sleep, where they can dress. Why would all these women tell these different stories about you if they were not true and they don't know each other? That defies logic to me. Right, right. Until you hear the explanation. You can start a rumor on a guy like me or a celebrity just like that. All you have to do is push a button on your phone and say, so-and-so did this to me. R. Kelly did this to me. And if you get any traction from that, if, you, if you're able to write a book from that, if you're able to get a, a, a reality show, then any girl that I had a relationship in the past that I, it just didn't work out, she can come and say the same exact thing. Are you blaming this on social media? I'm talking about the power of social media. Have you ever had sex no. with anyone under the age of 17? No. Never? No. I have to tell you, it's so hard to believe that based on all that we've read. I'm going to tell you something, Gail. There's one you. I'm going to tell you something. What women said about you. What women said about me. What women, so nobody's allowed to be mad at me and be yeah. scorned and, and lie on me. Mm -hmm. So they're lying on you. That's your explanation. They're lying on you. Absolutely. 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 You feel that people have maligned your character. I have been assassinated. I have been buried alive, but I'm alive. So I think the point you're making is, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, that you have never held anybody against their will. I don't need to. That, Why would I? Well, I'm, How I'm, stupid would it never be held for anybody. R. Kelly with all I've been through in my way, way past to hold somebody, let alone four, five, six, fifty, you said, what? How stupid would I be to do that? I didn't say you That's were holding. That's stupid, guys. I didn't. Is this camera on me? <laughs> yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. Don't forget the blogs. Forget how you feel about me. Hate me if you want to. Love me if you want. But just use your common sense. How stupid would it be for me to, with my crazy past and what I've been through, Oh, right now, I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement and, and don't let them eat and don't let them out unless they need some shoes down the street from their uncle. Robert, Stop it. Y'all quit playing. Quit playing. Robert. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me. Y'all, I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this. I gave y'all 30 years of my career. Robert. Y'all trying to kill me? You killing me, man? This is not about music. I'm trying to have a relationship with my kids, and I can't do it.
Y'all just don't want to believe the truth. You don't want to believe it. At this point, we briefly pause the interview to give Kelly a moment. His publicist helped calm him down. I hope this camera keep going. No, we're going to let the camera keep true. rolling. This is not true. This is not, it doesn't even make sense. Why would I hold all these women? Their mothers and fathers told me we're going to destroy your career. But Kelly's emotions remained raw. It's real girls out there missing. It's real young girls out there being abducted, being raped, okay? They really are on chains. They really do have chains on their uh, on their wrists, and they can't get out. Robert, and they're ending up buried in. Death. Robert, we have to have a conversation. Really, I, I don't want you just ranting at the camera. Well, I, think I came here for them to hear me okay, talk. But I need help. What kind of help? This is the kind of help I need. Yes. What kind of help? I need somebody to help me not have a big heart because my heart is so big, people betray me, and I keep forgiving them. You sound like you're playing the victim here. You sound like R. Kelly, you do. When I listen to you, I'm it does sound the like truth. you're playing the victim I'm card. just telling the truth. And the reason I'm emotional, but Robert, and I apologize you, for that, no, is no, because no, this no. is the first time I was able to, to say speak. something. Yeah. I've said nothing.